In this video, I'm going to show you the tools that uh, I use for crimping wires together. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you some of the uh, wire strippers that is commonly available at the hardware stores, like this one. A lot of you probably have seen these at uh, Walmart or some of the automotive store. Okay, you have the various gauges for stripping, and then you have the uh, part where it crimps the uh, connectors okay and then here's another type of uh, wire stripper okay it's labeled with the gauges okay now here's one more type for uh, crimping different type of connectors okay now the one that I like to use the most is actually this type now if you look around uh, I think even Home Depot might have this I, I bought this many many years ago um, this type of uh, wire stripper actually will strip your wire uh, by grabbing onto part of the insulator, okay, and then it'll pull the part that you, you want to strip off. So basically, I'm going to show you how this works, okay? So I'm going to put the wire onto the gauge that you gauge of the wire that you have, okay? Like this, okay? And then you just basically pull and then strips it, okay? Now I can do it a lot quicker here. Once you get used to using this thing, it's quick. And I can do it with another piece of wire. Put this onto the right gauge, strips it, okay. And again on the other end of the wire, I can do the same thing. Okay. And it's very fast, very easy to use, okay. Um, now, as far as crimping, instead of using um, this type of crimper, okay, I actually like to prefer to use this one, for automotive use at least. This is great for um, most of your common uh, butt connectors, okay? And the way you use this one is put the crimp on, feed the wire in, okay? Give it a squeeze. And the reason I like this one is because this crimper actually has a lot of leverage and it's very easy to good, make a really good crimp, okay? So I'm going to put the other piece of wire, okay, into the butt, butt connector, okay? Let me just twist this up, put this in, give it a squeeze, and that's it, okay? And that's a very good type of uh, crimp with butt connector to join two wires together, okay? Now this will work, this type of crimper will work for different type of uh, ring terminals, butt connectors, or any type of uh, connectors you may have, okay? So, now, one thing I do want to show you guys is a lot of people who have not done a lot of automotive type of installation, they tend to do a very quick and simple type of connection. Get two pieces of wires, okay, twist it up, okay, grab an electrical tape, and then they'll wrap it up. This is a big, big no-no, okay? And they have a connection like this. Now, the reason you don't want to do that is, for one, is that if you, if you want to pass any type of high current through this, such as uh, using it for fog lights, um, power source, 12-volt power source, what happens is that after several years, okay, not even several years, after probably one good summer, when this heats up in the car, and it gets very hot in the car, the adhesive on the electrical tape will start breaking down, okay? And when it starts breaking down, what will happen is that the tape will start to unravel, okay? And you could cause a short if other wires get into contact with this wire. And also, the adhesive will actually work itself into the individual strands of, of wire inside this conductor, okay? And next thing you know, you've got a connection that's failing okay so that's why do not ever do this the only two options you should have in connecting a wire is either going to be by soldering okay and I have uh, uploaded another video uh, showing you how to solder the wires um, or using uh, butt connectors to crimp it up okay now another tool that I like to uh, use around the uh, for a car install is this plastic uh, uh, pry bar. This material is all plastic. It's very hard plastic, okay, and this is great for removing panels, okay, around the car, and it won't damage it, okay, 
and basically instead of using a, a, a screwdriver where you know somebody can use a screwdriver like this to pry a panel off you can actually dent the material so look around for something like this this one's made by uh, KTC it's a very good brand they make a lot of good uh, uh, automotive installation type of uh, tools so uh, I just want to show you guys the proper tool to use for removing any type of panels on the dash okay so that's all I want to show you in this video and uh, stay tuned I'm going to be making more videos later on alright thank you